sometimes and I've had to and you know this is very hard to even have to talk about but sometimes or parents are very toxic and it's not great it's not fun it's not cool it's not the vibe but it's true <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> wow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to pop in and start the vlog right now. It's 11.43 and I've been up since 7. Why have I been up since 7? I don't know. Or maybe. When Mr. was leaving this morning, um, every morning when he leaves, I hear his alarm. When his alarm goes off, I hear it and everything. And he is a snoozer. I'm not a snoozer once my alarm goes off once I'm getting up and that's it but he is an avid snoozer and the other day I really had to just sit him down and talk to him and I'm just like listen here one it's very hard for me to go to sleep two when your alarm goes off I just need for you to get up right so if you know that you're not gonna get up at 5 45 I just need you to set the alarm for six o'clock because every time you snooze it I think each snooze is like eight minutes or something like that I think I've seen it one time before I'm not sure where I got that idea from but I think each snooze is like eight minutes thereabout right so I said 545 16 minutes from 545 555 six something all right so obviously if you're gonna snooze it two times you don't want to get up at 545 so just set the alarm for the time that you would have gotten up after you snooze it twice because you're not getting up at 545 and every time that it goes off the first time that it goes off, I'm awake, struggling to go back to sleep, and then you snooze it, and eight minutes later, when I'm just about there, probably, probably not, it goes off again, and now I'm even more awake, and then you snooze it again, and that time, I'm, it's over. I'm never going back to sleep. I'm just up from six o'clock, you know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, just set it for six o'clock, like, don't snooze it so many times, because realistically, you don't want to get up at 545 if you have to snooze it three times or two times. So just do yourself and I a favor and don't set it for 545 and he did do that but I think I heard him snooze it another morning again I don't know if it was this morning I can't remember but um I've been up since sometime after 7 and the last couple of days I've been waking up to the sweetest messages I literally love them so much like yesterday um you know he sent me a message and I was all smiles when I woke up you know it was so great so cute and then this morning, um, I feel like, I felt like I was going to wake up to another message, which I did, you know, and that was really, really nice too. Good way to start my day. And so, um, that was nice, but, um, I've just been up for a minute, just there, laying down, sitting down, writing a message to send to my mom, because well, let me tell you something sometimes, and I've had to, and you know, this is very hard to even have to talk about, but sometimes, or parents are very toxic. And it's not great, it's not fun, it's not cool, it's not the vibe, but it's... And so, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to navigate that, you know what I mean? I'm trying to navigate, figuring out what that's like for me, and like, how do I deal with that going forward, whatever. So we're here, and um, I asked Mr., I told him that I missed him, and I think he should come home on his break, and he said yes. And then, after I was here waiting for a while, he said, it's a little bit late. And by the time I get there, it's going to be time for you to leave anyways, because I, today I've decided that I'm going to go... By my ladies, I have until 1 o'clock to get there in the days realistically. Today it looks like that day that I'm going to get there closer to 1. And it also looks like I'm going to work because, you know, I've just been here chilling the whole time. And I no longer feel like walking 8 minutes to the train station in the cold. So I think I'm going to just Uber and have him pick me up later. I have not told him yet that he's going to be picking me up later. But we also have an agreement that he will pick me up twice out of the week. I already did one of the days and one of those days are going to be Sundays because um, Sundays we're trying to go to church. I couldn't go last week because my lady was just, you know, and I'm really trying to see if I can go this week. I really, really want to. So tomorrow I'm going to go over there from like in the morning. I'm going to prepare everything, make sure everything is done so that um, and I might even leave late so that the next morning I could go there at 12. So I'm trying to see what that looks like for me. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes, literally. But um, maybe I should have left tomorrow for the morning that I Uber. But I really, like right now, I'm not, I don't feel like walking to the train station, so we're going to have to just deal with that. So yeah, so t today I'm going to let that be one of the days where he picks me up. I just made a little sandwich because we have sandwich meat in the fridge. So I made a sandwich because I was hoping that when he came here, I would have convinced him to bring me something. 
but he changed his mind so the whole plan was thrown off you know kind of threw me for a little bit a lot of bed so i had to go make something which wasn't an issue so i just made something we had a breakfast date one day this week already so we're doing good with the load of dates and the other day when we had that day too we spoke about listen dates are a very big thing for us so we need to find a way to like do those more often anyways we're here I just posted a reel on Instagram too. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you can do that to keep up with like the day to day. Some days I'm on there rambling. Today is one of those days where I'm just on there rambling about, you know, just a lot of things. It's I feel like it's a little bit more intimate than um, here. And I feel like it's very real, raw, and relatable here. But Instagram is just a little bit different. Like, I don't know. And, and I feel like it's um, real time too. It's like way more of like a real time experience than you guys would get here. But um, yeah. So I've decided that I'm going to Uber. So I'm really just waiting until like closer to the time because when I get there before one o'clock, the other lady is still there. And yesterday I went there and I was kind of upset too because I went there and she was just sitting there and you know, my lady smelled foul. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, how does she not realize that she needs to take a shower? The last time she took a shower was last Sunday because I gave her a shower. But she fights them too. And yesterday when I said, all right, we're going to shower you kind of smell. And she's like, okay. <laughs> And the lady was just today in the living room not doing anything. But that lady really does a lot in terms of like outside of everybody else. But like yesterday it was not it. So I just gave her a shower and stuff. I'm going to give her a shower again either tomorrow or Sunday. Maybe I'll give her tomorrow because Sunday I'm not going to be there for that long. And then I'm going to be off Monday and Tuesday again. Um, oh, I need to text Brittany because she doesn't say anything to me about the appointment. Anyways, um, I'm here. You know, I'm here. I wanted to pop in and start the vlog talk a little bit you know and um i'm about to i don't even want to open the lift app yet because i feel like once you get the first price that is like cheap when you try to refresh it again it goes up and i always go between uber and lyft but for the longest lyft has remained the absolute cheapest and on days like today i need it to be cheap because it should have been gone i need to tell him too he needs to send me that money back because oh, leave the man alone <laughs> leave that man alone i'm not gonna tell him that but um, yeah i'm gonna see about getting an uber a lyft right now and stuff and i will see you guys later or whenever i decide to pick this camera back up hi y'all it's nighttime and i'm here at my ladies i came here late today so i stayed a little bit later to make sure that you know she gets the time that she would typically get with me every day and um, to make sure that she's fed. The cat is in here going off and he is fed. Or she. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I don't know how to check and that cat is dirty so I wouldn't want to check anyways. But I'm here. I just gave her supper and it's currently 6.50. So pretty much 7 p.m. I just gave her supper. Um, I changed her clothes earlier. And um, yeah, I just bought a mattress protector for her on Amazon because she needs one. So I bought her one of that. It's supposed to come tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to come here early because tomorrow's Saturday and I want to go to church Sunday. So I want to come here early tomorrow and do the bulk of my hours so that when I come Sunday, I can stay in the afternoon and it's okay. She still gets enough time. You know, I don't feel like I'm shortchanging her or whatever the case is, but we're here. Mister is going to pick me up. So I'm just here waiting for him. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just waiting. <laughs> 